Hello everyone, welcome back to Cold Waters once again. My name is Jeff Aviano and I am back in the country of the good old USA. I was out of country for about a week or a little over a week and uh, went to Spain, Barcelona, Spain, or as they say, Barcelona, Spain. Um, it was an absolute awesome trip and I have some vlogs, uh, you know, in the works uh, headed your way so you can uh, see what uh, I got to see essentially. But with that said, we're back in cold waters. I got a lot of requests. Hey, will you check this game out again? And I really wanted to, but I was away and I had already pre-recorded the first episode. I wasn't sure how well everybody was going to like it. Seems a lot of people liked it. So we're going to finish up training. Um, I, uh, we're going to do a couple things in training today. We're going to do the missiles and then we're going to do the uh, TMA, the target motion analysis. I want to do missiles because I want to show what that is like. It's pretty awesome. Um, and we're going to be in the Sturgeon class sub once again. Uh, close to 25 kilo yards. Okay. Uh, you guys told me the kilo yard distance, uh, of what that, what that meant. And thank you for that. Uh, I wasn't hundred percent sure on that. And you guys are able to, uh, let me know that we have a new sonar contact bearing zero designate zero one. Okay. So we're going to get to see what the missile systems are like on this Sturgeon class sub here. We are right here. Just, uh, you know, looking pretty badass ourselves. con sonar, new contact bearing zero designate. Sierra 1 or Sierra 2 and they're gonna tell us how we do this so we can always op open up the signature and try to figure out what this is remember here is what we're getting here at the bottom and we can cycle between the two or we can cycle between them like this we want to line up those uh, guys that's pretty close it could be a Delta 4 but I don't think it is that looks a little bit closer not perfect but it looks closer let's see if we can actually dial in what this is uh, that we have a contact of because as you know that is nailing it right there's a foxtrot ss i would call it uh our sonar one contact and what we can do is we can hit this check mark and go hey that's what that means uh that means that uh, we think he's an s1 foxtrot we're not we're not 100 sure but it looks pretty damn close that that is the case all right up here reloading tubes in combat on the briefing page you just left you learn how to change your weapons on board and place them in tubes ready to fire prior to combat once in combat stores cannot be changed but tubes can be reloaded you shift f1 to learn about missile settings let's do that shift f1 here they are guided missiles uh blah 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 blah, blah. tube settings yep 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 that's what they look like the stores panel yep mission briefing or f7 to open the stores panel now one thing is really cool is yeah you can do that you can hit the stores panel and here they are there so we we know what that means select tube one by either left click of the weapon in the tube or use f so we're going to do that and uh, we'll hit R until a TASM icon is shown against tube one. So we'll hit R and we want the TASM. Uh, we know that that is the TASM. It looks like that. That was a UGM we just did. So we want the TS TASM. Oh, I guess that's what that is. Yeah, that looks like a UGM 84 to me, but <laughs> uh, that's the only thing that popped up. Wait a few seconds and an actual TSM begins to slide into the tube, as you can see right there. Message log notifies you once it's fully loaded and ready to fire. Time compression. You can always turn that up if you would like. Let's go ahead and just uh, start moving over in this baby a little. Just a little bit. Get it moving forward. All right. Con torpedo room. Tube one loaded. Tube one tube ready fantastic we'll go to the next thing firing a missile we will fire a ugm 84 missile your target is not moving and directly north of your stationary submarine yeah we already found out you know what is going on with that it's an s1 foxtrot we believe select the tube containing the ugm 84 or tasm okay that's what that is a tasm uga 84 okay so they just kind of look the same um fantastic left click on the weapon in the tube yep we know that and uh, all that good stuff place the waypoint we know that hit the space bar and go right here to zero one foxtrot here it goes if i just right click boom and she is off Woo! look at that baby go <laughs> those missiles are no joke man there goes the the first little uh part of the rocket there those things are fast too. So if you want to get a target at distance, this is how you're going to take their asses out fast. We did that. Move the mouse pointer out to the mini map. Yep, we did all of that good stuff. Right click. We did that. We should launch to the north and strike the target. Oh, there it was. Because we didn't have it on the periscope, so it didn't show up in the 3D world. But we, I mean, destroyed it immediately. If all went well, you missed your launch. Yes, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Target practice. Two other target ships are nearby, approximately a bearing 350 and 010. 
All right, so let's go ahead and man our ship again here. Our ship, our vessel, our Sturgeon class sub. All right, let's hit tab. Here's our other sonar contacts. Let's try to figure out what they are, shall we? All right, we have sonar three here. So let's click on sonar three. Uh, and it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and try to find out what he is. And we're going to take him out with a missile. That's the good thing about the missiles. They're long range, you know? All right, looking for something that'll match up to these two here. What could you be out there hanging out? Hmm? It's a pretty strong signal. There's pretty close. That's nailing it 100%. It's a Kazbek AO. And I'm going to say, yeah, that's a Kazbek AO. Let's see if we can find out what uh, Sonar 2 is here. Um, he's a little bit different. He's got two lines right there. So let's see if we can find out what he is. Oh, that looked like it. Yep, there it is. It's a Partisan AP. I'm going to say that's what that is. So now we know what those are. Let's go after them. Let's destroy them. S3 Kazbek. Kazbek. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. I'll hit R. And we want to have another one of those guys. Uh, and for you, let's go ahead and R for you. Because I'm going to shoot two of these off. And we're going we're gonna to launch two. One at S3 Kazbek and one at uh, S2 uh, Partisan there. So that's Sonar 3 and Sonar 2. I think we can do that. No problem. Looks like our... Uh, our tube room is, uh, or the weapon uh, room is taking a little while. They're going to have to put that one in, and then they'll put that one in. So that's cool. Target practice. We're, we're always uh, good on the target practice. We want that. Actually, let's go ahead and bring ourselves up to Periscope. Look at that. We see that ship sinking. <laughs> All right. Torpedo room saying tube one, tube, uh, yep, tube's ready to go. We're going to wait for the second one because I'm going to fire these in succession so it looks ultra badass. Let's see if we can see these little uh, bastards. We'll hit zero, bring up the scope. Once it's up, we'll hit P for periscope. And they said 350. Yeah, there's one right there. So actually what I can do is hit I, remember? And you can uh, you can send that data like that. So we know what we're looking at exactly through the periscope. There's another one there. We're going to hit I for him. All right. So we know the exact locations of them now and what they look like. And now they'll be painted in the 3D world too. So that'll be pretty cool. All right. So first of all, let's go ahead and go to this. Oh, we'll go to this guy right here, and uh, we're going to shoot the first one off at uh, the Kazbek. So let's go ahead and do that. He's going to go like this. There it goes. And you out to the M3 right there. And he's off as well. Look at that. He just shot straight out of there. Look at these missiles. They are so fast. And he just dropped off there. He hit three F3 for the other one. We're going we're gonna to go for... This one here, because that one's going to blow up first, because we shot that one off first. It should be hitting him any second. Kaboom. No. Oh, he's going to die. He is going to die. Did we miss? Please tell me we didn't miss. We missed. Okay. Well, our target. Okay. Our firing solution was not very good. I get. Oh, it's going to turn, and it's going to hit the water. What the hell? Okay. So we, we missed both of them. How is that even possible? Let's let's reload them. They, they got to be scared now. They're like, um, yeah. What happened there? Yeah, good, good, good question. Let's go back to our sub as we are just hanging out right here. No problem. Just kind of slowly moving forward. Let's uh, start a turn to the left, actually. Go rudder to the left here by 10 degrees. So we're po pointing towards them a little bit more. Uh, we need a better firing solution, essentially, I would say. Something did not pan out too well there. I did not uh, calculate it correctly, so we're going to try to do a little bit better this time. So we turned it that way. We'll just put the rudder back at zero. We'll hit tab here. We have one ready to go, and I want to make sure we have this right. So let's uh, let's do that. Um, if we can, let's uh, go into Periscope. So we want the one on the right first. We want this guy. I'm going to hit I on him. So I have a good... Uh, a good Firing solution, 95%. There should be no reason we don't mess this up. Let's try it. Kazbek, you right there, buddy. Boom. Off. And off she goes. Let's see if we can uh, hit this thing. It looks like it's a little bit better this time. I mean, it's pretty much right down the side. Unless we have to really aim it to the left more. That's a possibility. Yeah, it seems like these missiles just go straight out ahead of you. That's good to know. So you have to lead it in, essentially. The other one was already, a, you know, a, it was a stationary target. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. All right. Well, we have another shot here. So let's try something else. Let's go to this guy, this tube. Oh, he's going to hit the water and blow up. Boom. 
This guy now knows that somebody's trying to kill him. <laughs> They're like, no, I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. All right, let's go back to this. Let's find these ships. There they are right there. Him. He's the one I want, and he's going pretty fast right now. Look at that. He's at, uh, well, 14 knots. It's not that fast, but let's try to lead it off a little bit on this one. Let's go to you and put... Oh, they say up to here. Is that what they want? Not really sure what that little blue dot means. Probably need to learn that a little bit. Uh, let's try this right about there, maybe. Boom. Hopefully this will do it. Look at that. That is so badass. Look at that smoke trail. All right. We just dropped that off. Let's see if we can nail this little fucker. It's pretty difficult. If they're not stationary. If they're moving, it's been pretty difficult. Unless I'm doing something wrong, which is po you know, totally possible that I am. Uh, come on, turn into it. No, nope, I don't think it's going to make it. Well, you saw the first one. I said we move on to uh, target motion because that's obviously what we're lacking here. God, that was so close. Oh, that was so close. Damn. Damn. Oh, I want to hit them so bad, but what are you going to do? All right. So we, uh, we we finished the mission, essentially, what they want, the target training thing they wanted us to do here. So let's go ahead and pop out of this guy. We'll go to uh, leave combat. Yes, that looks good. Enemies engaged. We tried. They escaped. We know. We sunk the uh, Andazan there. Let's hit continue. Or Andazan, whatever you want to call it. Target motion analysis, TMA. So we're going to detect and classify contacts like we've been doing. Uh, target motion analysis and building a firing solution. Now, this is probably uh, what we needed for our <laughs> our last one. So close to 25 kiloyards. Okay, let's go ahead and all hands man battle stations there's our beautiful little sturgeon there and let's get this baby rolling let's go two-thirds maneuvering uh speed and let's try to figure out what our sonar contact is all about let's go to signature uh sonar one right there you we can hear him but we can't see him see because we don't know what he is we can only hear him all right cool so let's go ahead and find out what that is by this uh don't think that's it i think it's gonna be the three with the He's pretty far out there, though. Ooh, that looks like it might be close, but I think this is a line here. He's three line. Eh, it's, it, he's a little too far away, it looks like, for right now. So, between the briefing and mission start, it's possible to lose the initial contact. Yes, it's, yes, it is. If you have no contact, increase speed of five knots and move forward. Use time correction if needed. Until contact is reestablished, sonar operator notifies you via the message log when this happens. All right, we just need a stronger... We need a stronger signal, essentially, here. All right, good to know. The data panel at the bottom left contains three columns of data. Ownership data, contact data, and wire data, as you can see right there. For this mission, we will focus on the second column, which displays your current contact here in the middle. He's a bearing three, range of 54.9 kiloyards, and he is uh, only at a 41% solution. Keep in mind, if we were to bring our, um, our periscope up without damaging it, I don't think two-thirds is gonna hurt that uh, hit P and we can visually find him we'll have a better targeting you know we'll actually have a better solution so we hit I on him bam look at that we have a 95% solution on him now and the sonar says contact master one is classified as a comsomol so we know what it is automatically because well we just looked at it so that's good to know with that said we can move on Target motion analysis. You shift F1 to read about it. Let's let's do that together, shall we? Target motion analysis is a, the observation of a contact over time to build up information about its course, speed, and range. This accumulated data is called the target solution and is mentioned above. Calculating an accurate target solution accurately plots a contact's position and movement on the tactical map. With an accurate target solution, you have a much better chance to hit with weapons and knowing when you might be risking detection by straying into enemy sensor range. All right, good to know. Signature of analysis. That's what we have been doing here. Use F6 or click on the signature tab. Yep, we already did all that. Guys. You can use a quote and semicolons to go through it. Yada, yada, yada. All right, so we know where he's at now. Um, so let's go ahead and put uh, two of these puppies in the water and, and take them out, shall we? Let's hit the tab key here so we can get the bigger picture. Not sure what that means, that blue dot. 
Is that where they want us to shoot them at? Because that's like the that's the that's the solution. I think it's the target solution. So let's let's see if that is the case. Um, okay, we've got this guy in. Let's go ahead and send him out this way. We'll put him in the water. We'll put another one. We'll do a little bit of a spread here. Put him in the water that way. So remember, we can uh, hit the four key and uh, activate them when we want to, and we can take control over them because they are wire guided torpedoes. And we know what we're dealing with because of the signature. So that's good. We can close that guy. And signature analysis use F6. We did all that good stuff. We did it. We know it's a comms. A comsomol. Comsomol. Say that fast. Yeah, that's what it is. We got a torpedo in the we got two in the water. Departing our uh, little sturgeon here. Looking good. And our target is way out there to the left so he might be actually moving on us let's go back to our guy here and we can have a look at the map we can actually zoom out here and look but it looks like to me um let's find him again here he was right out here he is moving to the right so he's moving towards our torpedo torpedoes i think that's what that blue dot was initially out there was to say hey here's our target solution our area we need to shoot these but we'll find out, won't we? Yes, we will. We'll just keep tracking forward and looking good. Use the F9 to speed up the game. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, F9, whoa. Okay, so F9 just speeds it up by a little bit. And then you can F9 again. So that's pretty cool. That's good to know. So we can hit F9 so these guys get all the way out here a little bit closer. Uh, he is turning. See how he's turning in on us now? And we have visual contact with them, so we can turn our torpedoes that way. So let's hit F9 and slow down time. So what we can do now is tell, hey, number one, hit the four key. We want you alive. And number two, we want you alive as well. So we're going to change their course. We're on two. We're going to turn him this way. And then we're going to click on one. And we're going to turn him this way as well using the four and six numpad keys. So we just turned our wire guided torpedoes towards the Komsomol. So I think we're going to hit him. If we uh, just kind of hang out here and watch, watch for the, the fireworks, as they say. And we can keep an eye on everything here by left clicking and moving it around. And as uh, these torpedoes get closer to the Komsomol, they will turn red and they'll go, I know where he's at. And they start tracking towards him. So we're going to do that. We're going to keep an eye on them, though. So, number one, we're going to turn you a little bit more to the left. And number two, we're going to turn you a little bit more to the left. There they go, right there. We want to make sure they don't hit each other, but... We're going to keep tracking him here in the periscope. Alright, so, eventually you'll be closer, making contact signal louder as well as increasing the rate of bearing change. We can see that here happening. Bearing five, course of 273. He's at 17 knots. And his range is 22.5 kilo yards. Okay, so... Uh, however, the comb small is continuing tur continuously turning, causing your target solution to decay and recover as you close in. This may cause the position of the comb small jump about on the map as new solutions are calculated. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing here. But we are... I think they're trying to tell us how to do this without using the periscope, but we're using the periscope, so we're getting a beautiful target solution. Understanding how to classify contacts and maximize the TMA rate it's crucial for knowing where your enemy is and how to hit them with weapons. Absolutely. So, these guys are going to turn red here in a minute. So, let's go ahead and speed up time. There they go. We're tracking him along here. And waiting for them to turn red. Oh, number two and one. Both just turned red. They're like, I know where you are. And they are moving towards him. And let's see. You see the range there. And number two seems like he's going to hit him first. He's like, I already know... His bearing now to an approximate. I know his course. I know his speed. I know where he's at. So let's hit P. We're back at this one. Let's hit F2 so we can go to our target here and we'll watch him get uh, absolutely obliterated by two torpedoes. We shall. We shall. Oh, look at him in the water there. There's our torpedoes. And we can always take control, you know, of the other one as well. Oh, he's he's got it. Perfect. He's like, I'm going to hit him right in this, the, the left front there. Look at that little fucker moving in. Whew. Thing is moving pretty quick. There he goes. And he has no idea this is about to happen. When I play this game, I need... Oh! Boom, 
baby boom. The second one's about to hit. Let's watch it coming right here from the side. Where's he gonna hit him at? I love the little motor. And then boom. Boom. Another huge hole. Oh, uh, that's gonna do it for the Komsomol. He's going down. It's ru it's a Russian name, so I, I guess it would be like Golden I, I I'm not really sure how you would pronounce it. Oh man, he listed to the side immediately and is going down. Those are two beautiful hits. Absolutely wonderful. And we're just sitting here cruising along. You see our little periscope popping out there. <laughs> and let's look back to the left here so we can see that fire in the distance. Unless he's sunk already. I think he's sunk. There he is over there. Yeah, he's he's pretty much sunk. But that's the uh, oil on top there. Absolutely awesome. So we can hit F1 or P again. We can hit zero. Once the periscope's down, now we can go full head flank bell. And let's bring a dive planes up and let's uh let's put these back to zero there and bring it on up. Here she goes. Let's surface this bad boy. Let's surface and say hello. Ha <laughs> ha. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. We put our dive planks back to zero. And ballast is at zero. And we took that ship out in a heartbeat. So pretty cool stuff. We learned how to use the, the missiles to an extent. I could hit a, a stationary target, but I, you know, getting that target or that firing solution for those missiles is a lot more difficult than uh, I thought it was. I think there's something that I was missing. If you saw the obvious, be sure to let me know in the comments below and I will have to uh, read through that and see what I did wrong there. So what's left to do? Well, we're pretty much ready to go into combat and do the uh, entire, uh, do the entire uh, scenario, or what do you call that? The uh, campaign, that's what it is. Not scenarios, but campaign. All right, leave combat. Fantastic. And uh, hit continue. Hit back. Hit back. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, there's training as we were in and single missions and then the campaign. Here's the campaign. You've got the North Atlantic in 1984 or the North Atlantic in 1968. I think we would like to do 1968 before we did the 80s um, because we were using a Sturgeon class, which was from the 60s. And we're going to know how to use that stuff for the most part. But let me know if you guys want to see more of this on the channel. If not, I can always just uh, live stream it over at Twitch. Uh, very, very, very good to be back uh, here making videos again. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.